The National Guard today, I'm sad to say, is not a fully ready force. The unresourced shortfalls still exist that approach $40 billion to provide the equipment and the training that I personally feel your Army and Air National Guard are expected to have to be able to respond to the citizens of the United States. Overseas, we are superbly equipped, superbly trained, and we go without, we go without, we want for nothing because the Congress of the United States has ensured we are adequately resourced. The Department of the Army, Department of the Air Force, Department of Defense are dedicated to not sending any sons and daughters of this nation in harm's way without the very best equipment possible. So you'll find no difference between the National Guard and the active forces and the reserve forces currently serving overseas. Back here at home, it's a different story. It's a much different story and it's not a good story. Most of the units in the Army and Air National Guard are under-equipped for the jobs and, and, the, and the missions that they have to perform with no notice here at home. Can we do the job? Yes, we can. But the lack of equipment makes it take longer to do that job and the lost time translates into lost lives and those lost lives are American lives. 